Now after this, the Lord appointed another seventy-two, and sent them out in Paris before him into every city and region where he was soon to go. Then he informed them, Truly it is a bountiful crop, but there are scarcely any harvesters, so appeal to the Lord of the harvest to send more gatherers into his field. Now move along. Divisions and heresies are sure to come. I am sending you out as sheep among wolves. For many will come outwardly draped in sheepskins and bearing my name, but deep within they are ravenous wolves. Do not carry a bag or a wallet or any sandals. Do not so much as say hello to anyone along the way. And into whatever house you go, even before you do anything else, say, May peace come upon this home. And if there should be a son of peace in that place, your peace will come to rest on it. And if this is not the case, your peace will then come back to you. Remain there with him in that house, and eat or drink what they may provide for you, because the laborer is worthy of his hire. Do not move from house to house. And into whatever town you go and they receive you, eat whatever they give to you. Heal the sick among them, and say to them, God's kingdom has drawn near to you. And into whatever town you go and they do not take you in, go out into its open places and proclaim, Even the dust of your town that sticks to us, we scrape off against you. Even so, be sure of this, the kingdom of God has drawn near to you. I can assure you that when the day comes, it will be more tolerable for Sodom than it will be for that place. Curse you, Chorazin! Curse you, Bethsaida! For had the mighty works that were done in you been carried out in Tyre and Sidon, they would have sat long ago in sackcloth and ashes and repented. But the judgment will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon than it will be for you. As for you, Capernaum, have your praises reached the skies? Well, you will be brought down to hell. Whoever hears you also hears me, and whoever dismisses you dismisses me. And anyone who rejects me is also rejecting him who sent me. And the seventy-two returned in joy, saying, Lord, even the demons subject themselves to us under your authority. And he replied, I have seen the adversary fall like lightning from the sky. Behold, I have given you power to trample down snakes and scorpions, and the enemies every strength. There is nothing that can harm you at all. But do not rejoice over the fact that the spirits submit to you, but delight in the knowledge that your names have been written up in the heavens. There is something above the raising of the dead and the feeding of the multitudes. Blessed indeed are those who with their whole heart have believed. At that moment, Jesus grew joyful in spirit and said, Father, I fully agree with you, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have concealed these things from the learned and wise, and have disclosed them instead to mere infants. Indeed, Father, because it was just so pleasing to you. My Father has placed all things into my hands, and no one knows who the Son is except for the Father. And no one knows who the Father is except for the Son, and those to whom the Son wishes to disclose him. And he turned to the followers and spoke to them privately. How privileged are the eyes that see what you do! For indeed I am telling you that many prophets and kings have longed to glimpse what you now see, and never did see it, and to hear what you are being told, but never heard it. 